welcome back dear students to your english literature class chapter 2 a tiger in the house part 2 dear students we have finished where the grandfather of the author had left the tiger timothy in the zoo and after 6 months when he got an opportunity to visit lucknow again he first of all he went to the zoo to see timothy and when he reached there when he arrived there what did he see he had seen there a full grown a very beautiful tiger lying in the cage so what happened after that we are just going to continue here the other is saying hello to me the said grandfather said grandfather and climbing the railing with ease he put his arm through the bars of the cage that means grandfather had asked the tiger hello timothy he had wished timothy and very easily he had climbed the railing and he had put his arm through the bars of the cage the tiger approached the bars and allowed grandfather to put both hands around his head that means when grandfather had wished the tiger he had gone near the tiger around across the bar after listening to grandfather the tiger came there he also came back there and he had allowed grandfather to put his both hands around his head grandfather stroked the tiger's forehead and tickled his ear and whenever he growled smacked him across the mouth which was his old way of keeping him quiet here the other is saying that grandfather was very gently very lovingly he was patting his hand towards on the tiger's over the tiger's forehead and he was tickling his ear the students tickling means you know when we touch something very gently with our fingers uh, to make them laugh like that and whenever he was shouting whenever he was trying to shout or he was trying to roar then the grandfather used to hit him with an with his uh, light hand that like we pat someone when when we pat some small children like that and this was the old way of grandfather to keep the tiger quiet he licked grandfather's hands and only sprang away when a leopard in the next cage snarled at him here when the tiger started licking grandfather's hand and he was about to spring away then suddenly he heard a leopard snarling at him leopard snarling at him that means he was shouting he was looking at him very angrily when he started uh, when he was about to spring away then he saw that the leopard who was in his, uh, in its neighborhood cage in his next cage he started snarling at him that means he started giving him an angry look grandfather had shooed the leopard away and the tiger returned to lick his hands every now and then and the leopard would rush the bars and the tiger would slink back his corner that means when the grand uh, when the tiger was snarling at the tiger grandfather shooed him away shooed him away means like we are saying something we are doing we are saying shoo to someone to uh, send them away from us like that and the tiger returned back to his hands and he was licking his hands every now and then and the leopard would rush at the bars and the tiger was creeping back to his corner a number of people had gathered to watch the reunion when a keeper pushed his way through the crowd and asked grandfather what he was doing that means the reunion of the tiger and the grandfather all the people all the visitors 
they were watching it they were surprised that how this uh, grand how this man is able to talk or able to touch the tiger a number of people had gathered to watch this reunion then a keeper pushed his way through the crowd that means a keeper came through the crowd and he asked the grandfather what he was doing i am talking to timothy grandfather had said i am talking to timothy weren't you here when i gave him to the zoo 6 months ago grandfather had asked that zoo keeper that i am talking to my timothy were you not there when i gave this tiger to this zoo i haven't been here very long said the surprised keeper please continue your conversation but i have never been able to touch him myself he is always very bad tempered here when thy grandfather had replied that he is talking to his timothy then the zoo keeper had answered that he is new he is not from very long here and he had told grandfather that they can continue their conversation but he had also told that he was never able to touch this tiger himself as he is always very bad tempered that means he is always in anger and even the zoo keeper was not allowed was not able to touch that tiger so this was how the tai grandfather made the tiger and he was the tiger was licking his hand and all the visitors were shocked to see that and they were watching it and they were enjoying this reunion of the grandfather and the tiger so dear students have you see you have seen here that it is written that the tiger was very well grown and he was uh, but uh, he had allowed uh the grandfather to lick his hand to come near who, him and to love him isn't it but the zoo keeper had told that this tiger is always bad tempered so why he was very a uh, loving or he was uh, very he had very lovingly accepted the love shown by the grandfather just think about it now the next part of this video is why don't you put him somewhere else suggested grandfather the leopard keeps frightening him i will go and see the superintendent about it the grandfather has told the zoo keeper to put the tiger in any other cage because the leopard in the next cage is always trying to frightening him and he had also told that he will go and talk to the superintendent for this that he should be uh, kept in any other cage grandfather went in search of the superintendent of the zoo but found that he had gone to home early so when grandfather tried to meet the superintendent he found that he had gone home early and so after wandering about the zoo that means roaming in the zoo for a little while he returned to timothy's cage to say he say him good boy that means he came here again to timothy's cage to say good boy it was beginning to get dark that means it was the time of evening it is it was getting very dark that time he had been stroking and sleeping that means again when grandfather came back to the tiger he started loving him gently and slapping him gently lovingly timothy for about 5 minutes he was doing this he was very lovingly patting the tiger when he found another keeper observing him with some alarm when he was loving the tiger when he was stroking uh, the tiger very lovingly he had observed that another zoo keeper was watching them but with very fear but in fear he was in fear grandfather recognized him as the keeper who had been there when timothy had first come to the zoo now uh, grandfather remembered him grandfather recognized him that yeah this zoo keeper was there when grandfather had brought timothy first time to this zoo you remembered me he had asked this zoo keeper now why don't you transfer timothy to another cage away from this stupid leopard he had asked this to zoo keeper that why you know me do you remember me or not then why don't you keep timothy to the another cage because this leopard is always frightening him but sir 
stammered the keeper stammered means you know when some we speak in a fear when we are not saying anything continuously we are giving pause between saying like but uh, like that he had told it is not your tiger okay he had said it is not your tiger very fear in he was in a stammering voice the zoo keeper had told but sir it is not your tiger i know i know said grandfather testily now grandfather was irritated he was very angrily he had answered i know i know i realize he is no longer mine but you might least at least take a suggestion or two from me that means he has told he was irritated by this answer when the zoo keeper had told that the tiger is not yours then he said i know i know that means he know that now the tiger does not belong to him because now the tiger belongs to the zoo so he thought that the zoo keeper is saying like this so he had told i know that the zoo uh, that the tiger is not mine but you should take one or two suggestions from me i remember your tiger very well said the keeper he died two months ago then the zoo keeper has told i remember your tiger very well but he died two months ago died exclaimed grandfather grandfather had to died he was shocked to know this yes sir of pneumonia this tiger was trapped in the hills of hills only last month and he is very dangerous then the zoo keeper has told yes sir uh, your tiger was died due to pneumonia last month and this tiger is brought up was uh, from the hills only last month and this tiger is very very dangerous so this was all about the meeting of the grandfather and the tiger who was in the zoo that means he was not his timothy he was someone else he was any other tiger now what happens when grandfather came to know that he is not his own tiger now when he came to know he could think of nothing to say he became speechless he was stunned to know this that his tiger timothy died the tiger was still licking his arm but the tiger who was there in the cage he was still licking his arm with increasing pleasure that means he was very happy to get love from grandfather grandfather took what seemed to him in age to withdraw his hand from the cage then what the grandfather had done he had just uh, uh, thought that now what he should do what he had done after that he had just taken out his hand from the cage with his fear near the tiger he mumbled good night timothy then also even though he was knowing that he was not his timothy he had wished the tiger good night timothy this was that he had wished the tiger good night and giving the keeper a scornful look giving the keeper a scornful look that means he was giving a very satisfied uh, look towards the zoo keeper and walked very fastly out of the zoo because now even the though he came to know when he came to know that it is not his tiger then also he wished him and he had called him by that name and then he rushed out of the zoo so dear students what did you understand from this chapter here you have seen a strange thing that the tiger was not of the grandfather that means the tiger did not belong to the grandfather but when he was loving him patting him the tiger had accepted it the tiger had not roared at him even though he was very dangerous so here we can say the moral of the story is that you can understand that even the wild animals even the savage wild animals can respond to the sincere and honest love of the strangers that means even if you are a stranger but if you are showing love towards anyone they will accept it and they will respond it so this is the moral of the story and one more moral you can take out from the previous experience from the previous video when the tiger when the timothy had become very dangerous it can show us 
it can uh, it is showing us that a person will remain the same always even if uh, we will take them out of the uh, we will bring them to the another environment like uh, uh, you can see uh, the timothy even though he was kept in a very good environment but gradually and at last he became very dangerous isn't it so these two uh, things we can derive from this story and this is the moral of the story that means when do we love honestly someone even though it is an animal it will understand our love so thank you students so this is the moral of the story and now you have to uh, i have to ask you some questions that i am going to ask you so be ready for the question when and where did the grandfather find the tiger cub so this i have told you the students and in the beginning only i have told that grandfather had found the tiger cub in the uh, hunting expedition in the terai jungle near dehradun second question who named the tiger cub and what was it called see the tiger cub was named by the grandmother and grandmother had given him the name timothy what was the diet of the tiger cub in the initial days see in the initial days the tiger was brought up entirely on milk in a feeding bottle by the cook mahmud but the milk which was proved which was given to him it proved very rich for him that means the tiger timothy was not able to digest it so he was put on a diet of raw mutton and cod liver oil to be followed by later by more tempting diet of pigeons and rabbits what was give the names of the two companions timothy had see timothy was provided with two companions one toto the monkey was there and another companion was a mongrel puppy who was found on the road by grandfather what was timothy's favorite place in the house see timothy's favorite place in the house was that long sofa in the drawing room where he used to sit used to lay down always he was feeling very comfortable on that long sofa it was his favorite place how would timothy spend time there timothy used to spend there uh, spend his time how that means he pulled his hard his chain uh, no he was always uh, uh, his enjoyment amusement was there that he used to stalk anyone who would play with him and uh, what else he can do that uh, he to appear to be quite afraid of the puppy and darted back with a spring if it come too near he would make absurd dashes at with it with his large four paws and but after some days finally he became friend with the puppy and all time he used to play with the puppy and the mongrel uh, that a monkey how would timothy sorry when and why did grandfather visit the zoo second time when and why see grandfather visited the zoo when he had got a chance when he had got an opportunity to visit one of their relatives in the viz lucknow in lucknow that time grandfather had gone to visit the zoo and first of all that time only he had got the opportunity to visit primodi to whom he had left in the zoo so this was about the questions and here you have to do two hot question dear students that if you had a tiger cub as a pet how would you keep that tiger cub and the second question is that why do you think the tiger in the cage did not attack grandfather see in, in, at the end of the video i have discussed with you that why the tiger in the cage had not attacked the grandfather what conclusion do you draw from tiger's behavior this i told you that even uh, a savage wild animals can change his behavior or can respond when it will get a sincere love from strangers now what do you come to know about grandfather's character from the story here you can see grandfather was an animal lover he was very loving and he was 
sincere and he was able to understand the language of animals so that's all dear students so this is all about the chapter number 2 part 2 video thank you for watching and i hope you have understood and you will learn the question answer you will read it thank you for watching the video